Hey guys, GT Machine here. Uh, I've got GT4 here. We're going to do some maintenance on it. Uh, I've got to change the transaxle fluid and the transmission. Um, not sure if it's ever been done. I doubt it. Um, and then also we're going to put some upgraded fluid. A lot of people said they've got good results where better shifting and uh, smoother gear change. So uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, get the fluid changed to show you guys how simple it is. All right, we're going to get it up in the air so we get a comfortable level to work on. Let me raise it up. So I'm gonna set it down on the first pair of locks. Uh, I don't need to really go any higher than that. And then honestly, this is almost too high, but um, this is the, where the first set of locks are on the max uh, jack lift. So we're just gonna go ahead and use them and make do. So here's what we're using. Uh, four quarts of this uh, Porsche uh, transmission oil, 75W90. Um, here you go, guys. You can see the part number here. I'll also put it down in the description. Uh, and also since I already have this tool, which is a handy dandy pump to help me pump it in there because I don't have a, a suction gun or a evacuator that puts pressure and fills fluid. So we're just going to use, use this and make do. And then with this being a smaller uh, diameter, it won't fit on this. I'm going to go ahead and pour the fluid in here into this bottle and hopefully make it easy to fill up. So let's go ahead and uh, get started on it. All right, I'm now underneath the car. So just so you guys can see, here's a drain plug through this hole here and right there, it's a 10 millimeter Allen key. And then the fill plug is gonna be up here in front of the driver's side axle. Let me see if I can show you guys. Right there next to the axle. You can see the plug right there with the green uh, paint stripe on it. That's your fill. So we'll go ahead and uh, get them loosened up and uh, drain the fluid out. All right, so the best way I've found to get to the, uh, the fill plug is right through here without any extension on it. You get full swing. That way you can loosen it up. All right, I'm just gonna leave it in there finger tight for now because I don't want the fluid rushing out when I remove the drain plug. Grab my longer extension. Go up through the hole here. And then loosen it up. So here's where you want to be quick so you don't make a mess. Um, I got this nice old drain plug from Auto, or not Auto Zone, Advanced Auto. It was the nicest one I could find. It had an extension like this, and it all collapsed in on itself. To where this all came apart and goes in here and it makes it easy to store away if you guys have a better recommendation or something different let me know in the comments all right so we're pulling the plug out Aye. so that's normal for it to gloop like that so we're gonna go ahead and loosen the top plug up and get some air in there Now you see it flow more since we got plenty of air in there. Now the fluid pretty much looks brand new, but being a 2016, I'd rather get it changed because you never know about the chemical properties of the fluid, even though it does look clean. And for the cost of it, it makes sense to get it, get it changed. I'd say one thing I'd say it's nice uh, if you own a Porsche I would definitely recommend uh, joining the PCA club uh, definitely has a lot of benefits to it where local dealer usually offers you a discount on uh, factory parts from them 
I know mine does here locally, which is nice. So it helps me to where I don't need to pay for shipping as much to where pretty much the discount covers any discount another uh, dealer would potentially give me through online transactions. So definitely uh, look into that. It's a lot of fun. They usually do a lot of events, stuff like that. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, finish letting it drain. And once it's drained, I'll go ahead and uh, get everything cleaned up and I'll show you guys how to fill it up. All right. The drain plug's in there. Let me go ahead and get it tightened up. If you guys aren't comfortable with tightening yourself, please consult the manual and get the torque spec in there. Because I've had years of experience working on cars to where I'm pretty good to get it without having to refer to the torque spec. So I'll go ahead and take my little handy dandy bottle here. feed it up here. Put the tube in the hole. Actually, I'm gonna go around this way. Make it more of a straight shot. Just to start pumping it in and then you need about probably between three and four liters to get it full uh, when it's full it's going to start running out of the fill hole and then this is going to take a while so i go ahead and uh while i finish this uh i'll go ahead and bring you back when i'm getting close to where it's running out All right, guys, we're pretty much close to being full here. I got it to where it just started dripping. I'm not sure if you guys will be able to see it, but what you want to have happen is you want to put the fluid in and then you want it to steady come out. A nice little stream. I'm not sure if you guys can see it dripping, but it's starting to come out. So I'm getting pretty close. I put just about three liters in. I think it's going to take a little bit more. I'm going to go ahead and uh, get it topped off with a full three liters and then see where I'm at. I think I might be able to get it done with just three. The book says a little bit over three, but I think it needs just a little bit more. All right, so hopefully you guys can see that steady stream coming out. We're gonna go ahead and seal it up. Drain plug in. Uh, try to here. It's a little hard by hand without the, the tool on it. Come on. Ah. 
There we go, I got the start. That was a little difficult. Yeah. Paper towels. Clean my hands off here. I'll go ahead and uh, run, it, run, the, run it in all the way and I'll tighten it up. So mine took just about three liters to fill. My guess is the spec I read could be a dry fill, but you pretty much want it to where the fluid is starting to run out of the fill, then you know you're full. And then you want to make sure it's a little bit of a steady stream. Same as the drain plug. Again, if you're not comfortable with the torque spec by hand, just make sure you look it up. And then uh, we'll go ahead and uh, get it all cleaned up underneath here and uh, get this wrapped up. One of the big things in, uh, you want to do is just make sure you clean everything up. Uh, what I use is some brake clean. Get both drain plugs and then also spray some on towel and wipe my car this cross member brace off to make sure that the fluid doesn't run all over the place and then doesn't collect all kinds of dirt and give you a false signs of a leak Just get in there and then wipe off all the areas where the fluid was spray everything good just to make sure I get it all cleaned off just give it a quick once over make sure you don't see any more uh, fluid sitting anywhere and everything's all dry once the brake clean evaporates off. I don't know about you guys but I like to keep everything pretty clean underneath here that way if you do have a problem you can easily spot an issue. So I think that looks pretty good. Let me just check things over. Looks good there. Drain plug looks good. All right, let me get things cleaned up and then uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, wrap this up. <clears throat> all right guys, we're gonna uh, get it down off the lift now. Raise it up and then uh, release the box. Let's 
get the lift arms out of there. All right, guys, that was pretty much the easiest thing I did to the car. It was almost easier than changing the oil. Um, the only thing is you could definitely speed up the flow of fluid into the transmission if you had a bigger pump or something different, but that's just what I had on hand, so I just used it. I didn't feel like buying anything for pretty much something I'm not only gonna use a couple times, but maybe in the future for the next time, uh, I'll get something different. Um, let's go ahead and drive it, see if we can notice any difference. Um, it may take a couple drives to get that fluid working in everywhere before we notice any difference between shift change. But uh, let me go ahead and uh, get cleaned up and uh, we'll take it for a test drive. All right, guys, let's go ahead and uh, take it for a ride and see if we notice a difference here with the new fluid. Transmission's got a pump in it, so this has got a cooler and everything, so also helps get the fluid going.
definitely uh, makes a big difference. Uh, the fluid cost me. I'm gonna see if I could probably return that one for it. I don't really see any reason uh, to ha really hang on to it since there's no leaks or anything like that. So it probably cost me probably around uh, uh, probably like 100, 120 bucks for all the three quarts of fluid.